Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a little DIY. I'm going to be showing you how I made this really cute Christmas card. It's actually one of those like shaker type cards, which I'm going to be honest. I've This is my first time. This one is my first time attempting to make one of these. It's not perfect. I definitely learned a little bit on things that I'm not going to do in this video because yeah there was a lot of trial and error with this one and honestly I don't even know if I can still maybe explain how I did this I'm hoping that I'll be able to recreate this in a better way than I did this one I definitely know for sure I'm not going to use these smaller little uh, glitter pieces I found this sequence one that's a lot bigger I felt like the little ones kept they kept getting caught in the edges so I'm not using those uh, that was one thing I learned. But yeah, I have a bunch of products that I'm going to be using to make this card. I mean, in the end, it is really cute. I mean, even though it is, some of these snowflakes are kind of stuck. But it's still cute. So that's all that matters. And I used some stickers from this winter sticker book. That's where I got the little sloths from because they are adorable. I knew when I saw these sloths, I was going to want to do something with them. Oh, actually, I grabbed the wrong, wrong one. Okay, I had to get another copy of this book because I used the slots already and I wanted to do another one to show you guys all how I did this. So I grabbed these two slots. There's a bunch of other cute ones that you can use on a card too. And okay, for this, I actually spelled this out with the alphabet letters from this older winter sticker book. This one has been on clearance at uh, uh, Michael's, but it's still available on the Happy Planner website. Not on clearance though, unfortunately. But they do have these letters, or you can use any letters. We all have like those alphabet books that you can use from, you know, to write this out. And I actually got that little quote from this book. It was actually, oh my gosh, I keep grabbing the wrong one. It was from, it might have been from that section with the slots. Yeah, because I wanted to use this, eat, sleep, and be merry. I like that quote. And when I was making this on my own, I was trying to figure out a way to add it on here. Like this this exact one, I cut it up and I tried to make it fit, but it wasn't working. So that's why I decided just to do the letters and spell it out. And I think it looks cute. So it worked. Um, so there's a few items that I used in here besides the sticker books. I have a few pieces of cardstock. I got this, this pad of paper they actually have a larger version I kind of wish I grabbed the larger one at Michael's uh, but I grabbed the smaller one because it was only $5.99 it was on sale too but they have a bunch of cute little patterned paper in here so I'm gonna be using these two in this card and I found this clear film this is what is right here in the center this clear um, piece and I got this at Hobby Lobby. This was super cheap too. I think it was like five bucks, but I had a 40% off coupon. And then I got some of these little glitter um, pieces at Joann's, both of these. And then these little like foam stickers just to build up this card a little bit so that way I can make it shake, have a little space to shake. Um, these little pieces are from Michaels. And then the cardstock I got this one I like this one because it's kind of it's got a cool like polka dot texture on it and I got this one at Joann's and it is called Phoenix that one and then this is from Joann's as well this white one and I think it does have a name I think it's just, oh, it's just, it just says bright white but this one has like a texture on it I like that texture pattern right. and then I just have like tape Tombow paper cutter, scissors, all of that other kind of stuff. I think that's all I used. I'm really, really hoping I'll be able to show this, how I made this card. I'm actually hoping I'll be able to replicate this card because it did take me a while off camera to make it, but I'm gonna try my best to show you how I did it because it's really cute. I do like how it turned out. It's not the best, but it did turn out really cute. Um, and I actually watched like a few, I wa actually watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to make like a, a snow globe card or like a shaker card. So I kind of took elements from the videos that I watched and then kind of did what I could with mine. Um, so yeah, if you need any other kind of reference, just check out some, some YouTube videos. That's basically what I did. 
All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the pieces that I need to make the card. This is something I didn't do when I was making the card. I kind of just winged it, but I'm gonna try to be a little bit more precise on this card so that way you can have more measurements and things like that. But yeah, when I was making the card, I was just cutting it like, this looks good. I'll make it this size, whatever, no big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just get some measurements so I can cut. First, I'm gonna cut the this main cardstock that everything's gonna be set on. I'm gonna cut that one out first. So I'm gonna get my ruler and measure this. Let's see what this one is. This one is about, it's a little bit under five. Okay, so I'm going to, and I'll include all of the dimensions in the description. I'm going to try to include as much as I can so that way if you want to replicate this card you will be able to. Oh, let me pull this up so I can measure this. Okay, so I'm going to do four, four and a half inches. I think that's what I measured. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, that's about right. And then, I think it was a little bit under five. So, I'm going to go this way. And cut here. Like so. Yep. Cool. So, that one's cut. And then, I'm going to cut this, this like plaid pattern. I'm going to cut that one. So, that is from this block pad of paper. I'm going to cut this one. Let's see how big is this one. Okay, it's going to be as big as this back. So I'm going to do it's a little bit less than five. And this way is like five and a half. I'm going to do five and then five and a half just to make it even. Okay, so this way it's going to be five. And I can't mess up this because if I mess up this one, I don't have any more of this paper. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. So this one's going to have a bigger border around it. I can always trim it a little bit more. I don't know why I cut it. I'd rather it be bigger than smaller. But uh, you know what? That works. I'm going to leave it as it is. I kind of like that it has more pattern though. Yeah, I like that. So, next I'm going to actually cut the main card. Since I didn't have enough of this paper to make like a whole card, I'm going to have to get another piece of the white to make the inside of the card. So this one, I just, I already know it's going to be, actually no, I'm going to measure it again. This one is going to be five and a half. And then the length is going to be I'm going to make it a little I'm going to make it 10. Yeah. Okay. Just to make it even. Okay, I'm going to fold this in half. I should put this away cuz I don't think I need this anymore. Fold this in half. Like that. And then this is going to be, this opens this way, this card. So this is going to go on top here. And then this is going to be, it's going to be built up a little bit more, but this is basically going to be up here. All right, so, so far I have the main components cut. Those were the ones that I needed to cut. Okay, actually, you know what? The last thing I'm going to cut, I think I'm going to cut this film. So I'm going to grab a sheet. Okay, and I think I'm going to cut it the size of this. Okay, so I'm going to do five. Yeah. Five and then four and a half. And this one. Okay, 
So at least I have all of those pieces cut out. So that's good. I have all of these cut out. And I'm going to move on to the part of the video where it's going to start getting like very professional. Which it's not. Okay, so um, the videos that I watched, they had like very they had the tools to do this <laughs> i don't have the tools to do this so i'm winging it like they had i think they had like cricket machines if you have a cricket machine i suggest using that instead of what i'm about to do because it's hard but you can still do it and even though it's not perfect it still works and honestly it's handmade it shouldn't look like 100 percent perfect it still looks good in my opinion <laughs> so um yeah if you have a cricket to cut out the hole definitely suggest doing that um i don't have a cricket and i don't have anything that punches out a hole or anything that'll make my life easier so i have to do it by hand and i don't even have like stencils that are circles i have like nothing i really so this is good because honestly it's better because you don't have to go out and buy all that stuff you can just use what you have at home which is what i'm gonna do so I remember when I made this card, because it was like a week ago, I used, I cut out a circle in the center and I used, I just used whatever I have near me, like anything round. So I have like my, like moisturizer. All right, so I have my moisturizer and I'm just gonna use the lid of the moisturizer to um, make a circle and I'm hoping that it's going to be centered. I mean, because I'm just winging it at this point. So yeah, I'm just going to um, take this pencil and just do a line. Oh my gosh, I'm already messing up. Just do a line around this. I'm doing it on the back, not on the front. The front it has like a little textured pattern. So yeah, I'm not doing it on the back or the front sorry <laughs> I'm like all confused all right so I'm going to I think that looks somewhat centered yeah I mean okay I think I got it a little centered that that's good so what I'm gonna do now is actually gonna cut a hole in here and I'm going to use my exacto knife because I don't have anything else I mean you can use scissors and stuff but I was able to do this with my exacto knife just going very carefully around what I drew with this line that I drew so I'm just going to take my little cutting mat and my exacto knife I'm going to do most of this off camera but I'm going to try to attempt to do it a little bit on camera to show you but I'm just basically trying to follow this line around yeah where I drew so I'm just going around trying to get as much as possible on that line and trying to stay straight that's what I'm gonna do right now okay so I was successful in cutting out a circle it doesn't have to be perfect honestly because I plan on putting this red piece over it a little bit so this part doesn't have to be super precise on that hole now I'm gonna cut out this other one this one that's gonna go around so this one does have to kind of sort of be a little bit more precise I feel but not really I mean I didn't mine isn't perfect so it should be fine um, all right so I'm gonna go on the back and I'm gonna take another circle I found this this is from one of my Starbucks tumblers like a, a smaller size one and this lid because I want it to be bigger obviously than what I just cut so I'm gonna just take this and do the same thing I'm gonna trace this circle around this yeah trace that around on the cardstock this one I'm just gonna cut out with scissors and then I'm gonna have to do the hole too all right, so I cut out the circle. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And then I'm going to 
this is where I'm going to have to be a little bit more precise on this one. So I'm going to get my, my other little circle and I'm going to put this in the center, hopefully. I'm going to center this, ooh, actually on the other side, and I'm going to draw a line, the circle around. And then I'm going to go do the same thing I did with this one and cut out the hole on this circle. Okay, so I got my two pieces cut. It's not perfect, but it will do. And then I'll be able to, like, some of the pieces that, parts that are a little bit not as nice, I can cover up with the slots. So that's what I plan on doing. All right, so next thing. Okay, I'm trying to remember my steps because it's a lot. And I, like I said, I did it a week ago and um, now I can't remember what I did. All right, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what to do next so oh you know what I'm gonna do something easy I'm gonna get the slots I'm going to put them on cardstock I like to use the textured cardstock because I gave it like a cute little pattern or like I don't know it made it look a lot cuter like little lines going through it yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use you don't have to though but I just like that a little effect so I'm going to get the slots and put them here. This one right here looks like he's hanging on the top and the one that's hanging from the bottom. Those are the two that I'll be using. I might do another one, like another card using the other slots because they're so cute. Especially the one with the presents. The one in the stocking is adorable too. Alright, so I have these two. That I'm just sticking here. I'm just pushing it down so it gets that like little pattern on it. So cute. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them out. Since they're clear, I wanted them to be on white. So I'm gonna cut them out. Okay, so I cut out the two pieces so those are ready to go. I'm actually gonna piece everything together and just put all of the pieces that go on this front part on the cardstock. So I'm going to get, what am I gonna get? Oh yeah, my tape. And I'm going to start taping things down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape this circle piece onto this white piece. So I'm just going to put some on the back. So I'm gonna use this to put this down try to get it to cover up most of this actually I'm gonna put it here and see it's not perfect Got a little bit dirty right here oh I think this is tape okay, I'm gonna rub that off a little bit um, but yeah it's not perfect I have a little bit of white showing right there but I plan on putting the sloth here so I think that should be fine um, okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to place the slots, but I'm not going to tape them down yet because I want to, um, yeah, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put the letters first because that way I can get the spacing right. That's, that's how I did it. So I'm going to get the winter sticker book and that's where it has all of the letters that I can pull from here. And I'm just going to start. I'm gonna start right here, I think. Or no, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start from the the last letter. So I'm gonna do Y first. Okay, so Y is gonna go here. And then I'm gonna do R. Yeah, I'm gonna spell out B Mary first, right here. All right, so I have Be Mary down, and now I feel like I can put this here, I can put this here, like that, and then I'll have enough space going this way to put in eat, sleep, and, um, yeah, that looks so cute. So I'm going to just tape these down now.
Okay, like that. So cute. And then I'm going to put eat, sleep, and on this side. Okay, so I have eat, sleep, and be merry going around there. Um, looks so cute. I'm going to cut off. I have a little bit of this clear coming off. But it did fit, thankfully. I think I made this one a little bit bigger. Like I said, my measurements on this one were not exact. I'm trying to get a little bit better on measurements for this one. So that way, if you want to make it, you don't have to worry about all of that. Um, but I'm going to, the last thing I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to put this clear film, which now I'm like, oh no, I think I got the wrong one. I'm like, why doesn't it fit? Okay, I'm going to grab the right one. Ay, ay, ay. I like so much going on over here. I'm actually going to cut this a little bit smaller because I really don't need it this big. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit from it. Okay, so I just want the clear film on here. So I'm going to tape this down. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of tape going around this circle. So I want to make sure it's on there for good. I don't want it to move. Okay. I'm just going to stick this down. Okay, so at least I have the clear piece now. That's the the whole front of the card is finally done. Okay, so this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky in my opinion. I'm going to try my best to make this as easy as possible because when I was making it, it was giving me issues. So we'll see if I can accomplish this on camera. Um, so I like this paper because I like the little houses. I have like the little houses on the bottom. I thought they were cute. Um, this is the part where I messed up on this one. So I'm hoping I don't mess this one up like I did that one. So I kind of want to be able to see the houses a little bit. Like maybe something like that would be cute. Yeah, I like seeing the trees and everything. So I'm going to mark this up a little bit. I'm going to put a little mark here. Oh, geez. And a little mark here. And a mark here. And here. Just so that way I know where to cut. Okay, so I'm going to get my paper trimmer out. Alright, hopefully I did that right. I'm hoping I did, at least. Okay, so it does fit in here, so that's good. I'm going to probably put it, like, here. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to cut a piece that this is going to lay on, because it's not big enough. I probably shouldn't cut off the top, but that's okay. I'm telling you, this is, like... The part that gives me the most problems. So, I'm going to get another piece of white paper. Okay, so I just cut a piece to the same size as this one. And then I'm going to use this as like the backing, I guess you can say. So I'm going to try to position this where I want it. So that way I can see the houses and everything. So I'm just going to get some tape. And I'm going to glue one side down so that way I can just get it on this page. And not have to worry about it moving. Okay, so at least that's secure. Alright, cool. So the next thing I want to do, this is going to be like the tricky bit. Okay, I'm thinking... So what I need to do next is I need to add this foam to actually I can add it here I'll start building it up here and then add it onto here I think that might be the easiest so I'm going to start adding this foam around this circle but I'm gonna try to go like not really close to the edge that was something that I learned from when I made this car I, card I went too close to this edge and then the foam was very visible and I think it needs to go further away from it so I suggest putting it like 
further away from the edge just a little bit and so I'm just gonna start placing these one by one yes one by one uh, next to the next to each other so that way it forms like a little barrier and then that way when they have like glitter here it won't there won't be any places for it to like ex escape from the card so I'm just going to start adding these I will eventually stack them too high so that way it lifts it up a little bit more so I feel like it needs more room than this one little square is giving so I'm gonna go around and just start adding all of these foam pieces onto this card. So I added all of the little foam pieces. I stacked them too high so that way it gave it a little bit more room in here for all of like the little pretty glitter pieces to shake around. And I'm going to attempt. This is another part that kind of didn't go well the first time I did it. But I have like a small little strip of the cardstock. And I'm going to just wrap this around the inside. I'm going to glue it down. Yeah, I'm going to glue it down. Uh, I didn't have the right glue, I think. That's what happened last time. It didn't work out as well. I think I was using, like, um, what was I using? Hot glue. I think I was using hot glue. Yeah, don't use a hot glue gun. Um, so I'm going to use this tacky glue. I feel like this might work better. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, because when you look inside like you can see the foam bits i just want it to look a little bit cleaner and some of it is kind of a little sticky so some of the glitter bits might like stick to it a little bit so i'm just going to do this because this is one thing that i saw somebody do when they were making a little snow globe so this is one of the things that i'm going to do too so i'm just going to put this like this tacky glue it says fast grab Did I say fast yeah fast grab tacky glue on this paper and wrap it around. Probably didn't need to put it all of it. Probably should have measured it too, but it is what it is. I'm just winging it. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this around the inside so it's kind of like a little barrier. I'm hoping for all of the glitter pieces that I'm gonna be sticking in here. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to wrap this around and then just hold it against the edges so that way it adheres. Now what I'm going to do is the fun part. I'm going to add in some of these little snowflakes. I think I added in like four. I'm going to start off with four because this is the one thing I didn't add in my previous one that I made. I got these sequins because I think since they're bigger, they're not going to get stuck like how these smaller glitter pieces did. So I'm gonna stick a little bit more of these because I think they're pretty. Just add a little bit more to shake around. All right, so I'm going to test this out a little bit. See how this looks once it shakes. Okay, obviously I'm. it's coming out because I'm not holding it right, but I think that's a good amount. Yeah, cute. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in, horrible job. Actually, I'm going to put it here in the middle, over here. Okay, so since I have all the glitter pieces, I'm gonna go and take off all of the, all of these white backings off of the foam pieces. So that way this will stick, actually, you know what? My bad, one more thing. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to do one more thing because I need to build up like the side pieces too. So this pack of um, foam, I got, it, it came with both of these. So it came with these smaller sizes and then it came with the bigger sizes. So I'm going to add some of these on the edge of this too just to yeah build this up a little bit and I'll have to do the same thing I'll have to add um, double layers so I'll have to take these off 
can put two on top of each other. So that way it's the same height as this one. All right, so I'm gonna go around and do that all around this edge. All right, so I have the pieces on the side. I didn't put it all around, mainly because I didn't have enough pieces, but I just put it like on the edges and in the middle. I think that should be fine. I plan on doing a little bit more too in a bit. So I'm gonna take this, put it the right way, and then I'm going to line this up where I want it so I can see the houses. I think there should be good. I'm hoping this works better than my last one. That is, yeah, I really, really hope it works. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it looks like it does work. I feel like it's a little bit better. Yeah, okay, cute. Yeah, this one definitely, because I didn't use smaller pieces of glitter, has more movement on this one, so I love that. All right, so now the next thing I have to do is the edges look horrendous. Um, so I need to go in and fix that a bit making sure this really does work yeah cool all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover these edges it's another like tedious thing I'm gonna do but just to clean it up a bit so it looks a little better before I attach it onto these pieces and then I will be done I'm so excited um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece of this cardstock I'm gonna cut a quarter of an inch quarter inch strips all right, so I'm just gonna try with the first piece. See if this is enough to cover the edges. Oh yeah, that fits pretty good in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the corner pieces first. This was another thing that I realized after I did it that I should have done it this way first, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. All right, so I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna fold it in half like this. So that way I have a nice corner that I can stick here. I just want that clean edge right there. The other one I did, it's a little wonky. Let me see if I can show you. Like this edge right here is has like a gap. I don't want that. So I'm going to go in with this. And I'm going to cut this bottom part too. Um, Actually, I think I'll do that right now. I feel like this doesn't really matter if it's not straight. So I'm going to cut this off. All right. So I'm going to go in with, I think that that tacky glue, because that seemed like it was pretty good. And I'm going to glue four of these corners in. And then I'll do another strip to like clean it up even more. So I'm going to do the corners first. Okay, so I got my tacky glue. And I'm just going to glue this all up. Hopefully I have enough still. Just put glue all over. Because this stuff is good. I think this stuff is supposed to stick to a bunch of different things. So paper, it shouldn't be. It should definitely stick to paper. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to put this on the corner, on this edge. And just like tuck it in this slot. Tuck this in too. And I plan on putting another piece on top to like clean it up. Uh, like I said, I just want the corners to look a little bit cleaner than what I did before. Okay. So I have that corner in. Got some glue on the edges. Um, and then I'm just going to go in and do the rest of the corners off camera because it's really hard to do it on camera. But I have that corner. That's what I wanted. And I'm just going to do the same on the other three. Okay, so I got all of the corners. I got the corner pieces. So now I'm just going to put a strip to go across and clean it up even more and just make it look pretty. So that way when you look at the card from the side, it doesn't look a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna take more of this glue because this, like I said, this glue has been working well. I, I used, when I first made this card, I used a hot glue gun 
and that was not fun and yeah it's not fun to use a hot glue gun on this project <laughs> that was not smart so this piece oh i should have figured out which piece this went on i think this is the long piece yeah so i'm gonna put this on this edge just to make it a little bit cleaner looking like that boom that looks so much better than that side obviously <laughs> so i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna just add glue add these little strips to each side clean it up and then i will i'm almost done this is exciting okay so i got all of the edges covered oh i think i should i feel like i should cut this but you know what i'm just gonna leave it it is what it is it's not perfect but it'll do I'm getting better though. That's the good thing. <laughs> it's a little tricky, this card. All right, but at least the shaker part is a lot better than the initial one I made because this one is just not as fun as this one. Okay, so I do love how that one turned out. And okay, last bit. I'm gonna put this, oh no, I'm gonna put this on top of this first. So more of this tape is gonna go down. This should cover up this whole piece. Like that cute and then I'm just gonna attach this here I'm gonna put more tape I have yeah, still some left okay. tape is the best definitely recommend this tape all right Oops. Okay. and then I'm gonna try to center this as best as I can on camera it's a little tricky though good I'm gonna push this in all right I think it's good opens up there's the card and the little shaking bits so cute oh my gosh I love this one <laughs> it's so cute okay I'm glad I figured that out at least I'm still trying to figure out a little bit more on like the construction of this box part but at least it shakes better than the other one. It stands, so that's good. And it's super, super cute. All right, so that is my DIY. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. But that's my DIY on how to make this really cute shaker. And you can totally do this with any other type of stickers. And you can make a square one. You can really do whatever you want with these. I think it's a lot of fun. All right, so yeah, that's my video on my little card. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.